Welcome, fellow space explorers, to a thrilling journey through our cosmic backyard, the Milky Way galaxy. As we gaze upon a star-studded night sky, it's easy to be filled with awe and wonder. But the universe, for all its beauty, harbors secrets that can send shivers down your spine. We're about to venture into the cosmic abyss and confront the most terrifying entities lurking within our galaxy. These aren't the monsters of mythology or science fiction, but very real celestial objects and phenomena that make our pale blue dot seem insignificant. From the heart of darkness at the galactic center to the unpredictable bursts of energy from distant stars, we'll uncover the science behind these cosmic terrors. We'll explore the immense forces at play, forces that can warp space-time, rip apart stars, and even sterilize entire planets. So fasten your seatbelts and prepare for a cosmic thrill ride as we explore the five most terrifying entities in our Milky Way galaxy. Get ready to have your perceptions of the universe challenged and your imagination ignited. Let's kick things off with one of the most fascinating and fearsome objects in the universe, the supermassive black hole. These gravitational behemoths lurk at the centers of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their grasp. They are formed when massive stars collapse at the end of their lives, creating a singularity, a point of infinite density. Imagine the Earth squeezed into the size of a marble. That's the kind of extreme density we're talking about. Now picture a black hole millions or even billions of times more massive than our sun. That's a supermassive black hole. These cosmic monsters are invisible to the naked eye, but their presence is revealed by their effects on surrounding matter. As gas and stars get pulled towards a black hole, they spiral inwards, heating up and emitting intense radiation, creating a cosmic whirlpool of doom. At the heart of our own Milky Way galaxy lies a supermassive black hole known as Sagittarius A asterisk. It's a staggering 4 million times more massive than our Sun and located about 26,000 light years away from Earth. While Sagittarius A asterisk may seem distant, it plays a crucial role in the dynamics of our galaxy, influencing the orbits of stars and the distribution of gas and dust. It's the conductor of our galactic orchestra, albeit a rather chaotic one. Don't worry though, even though it's a cosmic monster, Sagittarius A asterisk is relatively quiet for a supermassive black hole. It's not actively feeding on a large amount of matter, so it's not spewing out intense jets of radiation. However, don't let its current state fool you. Sagittarius. A asterisk has a history of violent outbursts, and it's only a matter of time before it awakens from its slumber and unleashes its full power. Now you might be wondering, what would happen if our solar system got too close to a supermassive black hole like Sagittarius A asterisk? Well, let's just say it wouldn't be pretty. As we approach the black hole, the intense gravitational forces would begin to stretch our solar system, a process known as spaghettification. The side of Earth closer to the black hole would experience a much stronger gravitational pull than the side farther away, stretching our planet like cosmic chewing gum. Eventually, the tidal forces would become so strong that they would rip Earth apart, along with all the other planets in our solar system. The remnants of our once thriving planetary system would be added to the accretion disk, the swirling disk of matter spiraling into the black hole. But here's the kicker. As terrifying as black holes may seem, they also play a vital role in the evolution of galaxies. They regulate star formation and help to shape the large-scale structure of the universe. So in a way, these cosmic monsters are also cosmic architects. Moving on from the crushing gravity of black holes, let's talk about another cosmic phenomenon that can spell disaster for life as we know it. Gamma ray bursts, or GRBs for short. These are the most powerful explosions in the universe, releasing more energy in a few seconds than our sun will emit in its entire 10 billion year lifespan. Imagine the entire energy output of the sun compressed into a single, blinding flash. That's a gamma ray burst. GRBs are thought to be caused by the most cataclysmic events in the cosmos, such as the collapse of massive stars into black holes or the collision of neutron stars. These events release unimaginable amounts of energy in the form of gamma rays, the most energetic form of light. Now, gamma rays are bad news for life. They can easily penetrate atmospheres and wreak havoc on DNA, 
potentially sterilizing entire planets. And the scary part is that GRBs can occur at any time, in any direction, without warning. To give you a sense of just how powerful GRBs can be, let's take a look at one particular event that made headlines, GRB 080916C. This gamma ray burst, detected in September 2008, was the most powerful ever recorded at the time. For about 23 minutes, GRB 080916C unleashed a torrent of gamma rays across billions of light years. The energy released was equivalent to the energy of 9,000 supernovae exploding simultaneously. It was a cosmic fireworks display of unimaginable proportions. Luckily for us, GRB 080916C occurred about 12.2 billion light years away, so we were never in any real danger. But if such a burst were to occur within a few thousand light years of Earth, it could have devastating consequences for our planet. The intense gamma rays would strip away our ozone layer, leaving us exposed to harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. This would lead to mass extinctions, disrupting the delicate balance of our planet's ecosystems. The good news is that GRBs are relatively rare events. Astronomers estimate that a gamma-ray burst occurs within a galaxy the size of the Milky Way only once every few hundred thousand years. However, the universe is a vast and ancient place filled with trillions of galaxies. So while the odds of a GRB hitting Earth are slim, they're not zero. It's like playing cosmic Russian roulette, but with the stakes raised to an astronomical level. And here's the thing about GRBs. They're unpredictable. We don't know when or where the next one will occur. It's a cosmic mystery that keeps astronomers up at night, scanning the skies for any sign of these powerful explosions. So, while we marvel at the beauty of the cosmos, let's not forget the dangers that lurk in the darkness. The universe is a place of both awe-inspiring wonder and terrifying power. So, we've talked about black holes, those cosmic monsters that devour everything that gets too close. We've discussed gamma ray bursts, those energetic flashes that could sterilize entire planets. But the universe has another trick up its sleeve something equally terrifying, something that wanders the vast emptiness of space like cosmic phantoms, rogue planets. Now when we think of planets, we usually picture them orbiting a star, basking in its warmth. But imagine a planet, perhaps even Earth-sized, hurtling through the galaxy alone, shrouded in perpetual darkness. These are the rogue planets, cosmic nomads ejected from their star systems by gravitational interactions. It's a cosmic game of billiards out there, folks. When stars form in clusters, their gravitational dance can get pretty chaotic. Planets can be flung out of their systems like tiny marbles, cast into the interstellar void. Imagine the force it would take to eject a planet from a star system. These rogue planets are incredibly difficult to detect. They emit no light of their own, and with no star to illuminate them, they're practically invisible against the backdrop of space. But don't let their elusive nature fool you. They are out there potentially billions of them, silently traversing the Milky Way. Now you might be thinking, okay, a rogue planet sounds intriguing, but is it really that terrifying? Well, imagine this. A rogue planet, several times the mass of Jupiter, enters our solar system. Its gravitational influence could wreak havoc on the delicate orbits of our planets. The outer gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, could be perturbed, their orbits elongated, potentially even ejected from the solar system altogether. And if a rogue planet were to come too close to Earth? Well, let's just say it wouldn't be good news for life as we know it. But the real danger lies in the unknown. We're still not sure how many rogue planets are out there, what their size distribution is, or how likely they are to cross paths with other star systems. It's a cosmic mystery, and one that we're only just beginning to unravel. Think about it. A rogue planet harboring who knows what beneath its surface could be hurtling towards us right now, and we wouldn't even know it until it was too late. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? Now before you start panicking about rogue planets crashing into Earth, remember that space is vast, and the chances of a direct collision are astronomically small. But that doesn't mean we should ignore them. Studying rogue planets can tell us a lot about the formation and evolution of planetary systems, including our own. 
And who knows, maybe some rogue planets aren't as desolate as we think. Some scientists speculate that certain rogue planets could potentially harbor life. Imagine that, life evolving in complete darkness, warmed not by a star but by internal heat or tidal forces. The universe is full of surprises, and rogue planets are a testament to that. They are a reminder that our understanding of the cosmos is constantly evolving and that there's still so much out there that we don't know. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember those cosmic wanderers, the rogue planets, silently roaming the galaxy. They are a reminder of the universe's immense power, its capacity for both creation and destruction, and the endless possibilities that lie hidden in the darkness. So, we've talked about black holes, those cosmic monsters that gobble up everything in their path. But what happens to stars that are massive, but not quite massive enough to become black holes? They become something equally fascinating and terrifying neutron stars. Imagine this, a star more massive than our sun squeezed down to the size of a city. That's the kind of density we're talking about. A teaspoonful of neutron star material would weigh billions of tons on Earth. Now, neutron stars are fascinating in their own right. They spin incredibly fast some making hundreds of rotations per second, and they emit beams of radiation like cosmic lighthouses. But there's a particular breed of neutron star that takes things to a whole new level of extreme magnetars. These things are the cosmic equivalent of a heavyweight boxing champion wielding a magnetic field a trillion times stronger than Earth's. Now you might be thinking, Neil, those magnetars sound pretty scary. Should we be worried? Well, the good news is that magnetars are relatively rare. We've only discovered a handful in our galaxy so far, and the chances of one being close enough to pose a serious threat to Earth are pretty slim. But here's the thing about the universe, it's always full of surprises. We're constantly discovering new things, and our understanding of the cosmos is constantly evolving. So while we may not need to lose sleep over magnetars tonight, it's important to remember that the universe is a vast and mysterious place and lurking within its depths are forces that can dwarf our wildest imaginations. Think about it. The magnetic field of a magnetar is so strong that it can actually distort the fabric of space-time. That's right, these things are literally bending the universe around them. And if you were to get too close to a magnetar, its magnetic field would play havoc with your very atoms, tearing you apart at a subatomic level. Not exactly a pleasant way to go, but hey, let's focus on the awe-inspiring aspect here. These magnetars are a testament to the incredible forces at play in our universe. They remind us that we are but a small part of something much grander, more complex, and infinitely more powerful than we can possibly comprehend. Look up at the night sky and remember, some stars might harbor incredibly dense and magnetic objects. Neutron stars and magnetars are cosmic powerhouses full of surprises, Material caught in a magnetar's magnetic field heats up to millions of degrees. It emits intense radiation like X-rays and gamma rays, a cosmic light show you wouldn't want to be close to. Bursts of energy can last milliseconds to minutes, releasing more energy than our sun in its entire lifetime, a humbling reminder of the cosmos's scale and power. We've explored some of the most terrifying entities within our own Milky Way galaxy, but what about threats from beyond? Galaxies aren't static islands in space. They move, interact, and sometimes collide. Our Milky Way is on a collision course with Andromeda. But don't panic, it won't happen for another 4 billion years. When galaxies collide, it's not like cars crashing. They're mostly empty space. Think of it like two swarms of bees merging. The real drama is in the gravitational interactions, creating beautiful tidal tales. As the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies continue their dance, they'll swing past each other, their gravitational pull flinging stars and gas out into intergalactic space. Some of these stars might even be ejected entirely, becoming interstellar wanderers destined to roam the cosmos alone. But the story doesn't end there. After their initial pass, the two galaxies will continue to interact, their gravitational pull drawing them back together for another close encounter. This cosmic tango will continue for millions, even billions of years, with each pass stripping away more gas and stars, until finally, the two galaxies merge completely, forming one giant elliptical galaxy. Now you might be wondering what will happen to our solar system during all of this. Well, it's hard to say for sure, 
There's a chance we could be flung out into intergalactic space or we could end up in a completely different part of the newly merged galaxy. But one thing's for certain, the night sky will never look the same. Imagine looking up and seeing not just one band of stars, but two swirling and merging together in a breathtaking display of cosmic fireworks. It's a sight that would make even the most jaded astronomer gasp in awe. The collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda is a reminder that our universe is dynamic and ever-changing. Galaxies are born, evolve, and interact, sometimes dramatically. These events unfold over incredible timescales. The collision will take billions of years. Life on Earth will have time to adapt. Our descendants might witness this cosmic spectacle firsthand. Galactic collisions are part of the universe's grand cycle. They trigger bursts of star formation, creating new stars and planets. The Andromeda Galaxy is our future dance partner, reshaping our cosmos. The Milky Way is not just a beautiful collection of stars and planets, it's also home to some of the most terrifying entities in the universe. From supermassive black holes to magnetars with their mind-bending magnetic fields, our galaxy is a place of both incredible beauty and unimaginable power. But understanding these cosmic threats helps us appreciate the delicate balance that sustains life on Earth. It reminds us that we are part of something much larger than ourselves, a universe full of wonder, mystery, and yes, even a little bit of terror. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the most fearsome phenomena in our galaxy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more cosmic explorations.